Hello, dear viewers. Taro Mom here. Thank you so much for joining me in my backyard for your daily tarot reading. I ask you always to choose the stone that draws you, the one that really resonates for you. And we'll begin. We'll do a golden nugget card at the end for further clarification if you'd like that. And here we go. The blue stone, whoever chose the blue stone. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Page of Coins, and the Three of Swords. Okay, these are major, minor arcana. You don't have one major arcana in the bunch. So I'm thinking that this is just sort of things about your day. I am thinking that there's a bit of a caution here. Regarding, you may wish to increase your security, and that is money, that is uh, getting things done physically, um, creating things, that is also improving your health. It could be improving, you know, any kind of work that improves your security or is meant to. And maybe you've begun something and it's going well. You know, you picked it up, it's going well. The temptation could be to become overburdened, you know, worry about doing it all at once or try to do too much at the same time. And that could bring, oh, this again, you know what I mean? The three of the three of swords or the temptation could be to worry. If there's a lot of things that you have that are priorities to you, goals to you, maybe you are just somebody who can to have a lot of things going at one time and you're strong and you tend to remain invested. You know, you care about a lot of things and sometimes that can feel overburdening and there's this again. So that would, in that case, it would be sort of like, oh, that feeling again. You know, it's important to pay attention to what we're thinking because that will affect how we're feeling. And maybe we need to try not to do everything at once, try not to be concerned with everything at once. Um, we need to do one thing at a time. <laughs> you know, the other day I was looking ahead to a very busy day with this, 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 and this. Hey, Ten wands probably. And <laughs> I thought, and the thought just came to me, oh, thank goodness, thank goodness. I only have to do one at a time. Right now, I just have to do this. That's all. And it just, it all fell away. I was able to say, yeah, I don't need to take my whole day in one gulp, you know? And then I found a little more wiggle room in my day for pleasant experiences as well. So that's, that's how we do it. We just have one thing at a time. Or if there's anything that you worry about, you worry a lot about your world, you worry about others. You know, sometimes that doesn't help. Y you can be concerned about them. You can want to do some things um, for your goals, for what's important to you. Um, but you can only do what you can do. You can't have... It's okay. It's okay to do what we can do. It's okay to turn away from some of those cares and concerns sometimes and say, it's not that I don't care. It's just that today I am taking a break from that and I am doing things to focus on increasing my own security because this is the corner of the world I can have some effect on. You know, and, and sometimes what we do for our own health and well-being is so important to what we give to the world. We have to be all right ourselves, don't we? We need a certain amount of security. We need a certain amount of health. And sometimes taking care of what is in front of us that we need to do to keep us well, to keep us secure, is the best thing we can do for everybody else we care about. So I see that, I see that in today. And, and again, this is not major arcana, not a huge deal, but some kind of repeating pattern that you know brings some painful thoughts. That today, Source is trying to help you to head off at the pass. 
For those of you who chose the green stone, we have the nine of coins, we have the king of swords, we have the four of swords. So minor arcana again, probably not any kind of big deal. No major arcana here. But how interesting. You may need to retreat from something. Now, the King of Swords is very logical, right? Very planful, very uh, good intellect. Not afraid to be assertive. Really kind of has a lot of self-discipline, too. You know, like, it doesn't matter how I feel about it, I'm following my plan. That, that, that kind of thing. You know, the King of Swords is pretty strong that way. King of Swords is not afraid to cut things out of his day that do not belong, that do not fit his plan. However, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords are sometimes so strong logically and with their planning that they forget to pay attention to their emotional needs, their physical needs. Sometimes they over rely on their intellect the Four of Swords would suggest that you may need to think about taking a break from figuring things out today at some point. Taking a break from that, putting the swords on the wall. I'm not thinking about this, I'm not figuring. Sometimes taking a break from the plan can be part of the plan. Because we need rest and rejuvenation. Whether that's physical rest or whether that's mental rest or a simple retreat from a situation you've been thinking a lot about, this is indicated today. And the nine of coins is another kind of, another kind of rest from that. It's sort of enjoying the physical pleasures of life. See, the king and queen of swords, very smart, mature, wise, but still maybe apt to live in their heads a little too much, rely on their intellect a little over much. And Oh, what a relief it is sometimes to make it part of the plan to let the plan go and enjoy, you know, enjoy this physical realm. We're here. Our souls chose to come here in this physical realm for a reason. Why not enjoy it? And if we're not able to enjoy it, then maybe we do need to retreat from the thinking a little bit to a little bit more and take time to get in touch with the physical things. Sometimes getting outside or sometimes even in the environment you're in right now, paying attention to 10 things you can see, touch, taste, feel, as well as your emotions and glory in them and revel in them. Enjoy them thoroughly. If the thoughts want to come in to take over, let those go and cut, bring back to what you're enjoying, what, what color you're enjoying, what texture you're enjoying, maybe what taste you're enjoying. So sometimes that helps us to become more fully grounded in the physical and enjoy it. So I see some, if this is an interesting interesting reading here and some pointers for the day or this part of the week. For those of you who chose the purple amethyst, we have the nine of wands, we have the empress and the ace of wands. Okay, so the empress pregnant with a new possibility. The nine of wands suggests you've been through something. Um, and whether that was in your past and it still affects you or, or you have reminders of it lately or whether that's recent events, you've been through some things. You've stood your ground. You are a fighter. You keep going. You keep finding your life energy. You know, this nine of wands person, though he is in battle, he has his last wand. He is ready for the next fight. He's close to completion, right? The nine is close to the 10, close to being done with this. Look at the wands, they sprout leaves. That's because the wands are their goals, their life, their energy, they're important. So it's not like 
difficulties you've experienced have been for no reason. There have been important goals and priorities here. I'm thinking the Ace of Wands, the Tenth Wand, is actually an opportunity. You may be coming out of this with this Empress card. You really, in fact, in fact, the embattled stuff may have increased the pregnancy, you know, increased the possibility and the potential for a new birth, a new life. Now, the tenth wand looks like an opportunity given more than anything. And so you are, if you've been going through some tough things, to me, this looks like um, tough things you transform into a new birth in your life. You're on the brink of a new beginning. So I like that with that Ace of Wands, a new opportunity. Now, I think people have to be careful. It doesn't necessarily mean things are super easy sailing tomorrow, you know, but there is great opportunity coming in. Won't it be refreshing to have your efforts um, do more than and just kind of defend your current position, right? To have your efforts bring you forward into something new. It's time for that. So I really like this reading. Very nice reading. Okay. For those of you who'd like a little extra clarification, we have the golden nugget. And that is the seven of cups. Okay. If you look into your future and there are a lot of unknowns, take that opportunity to build castles in the air rather than dread. Don't anticipate dragons. You know, we have a lot, we can do a lot to form what's coming in by, by what we expect. We do create our reality. We all create our reality together. So I'm not going to say that you've created everything that's happened to you, right? And there are some things that I believe our soul dis decides on before we come in. But, but the Seven of Cups says, you can change what comes in by what you see. The unknown, the sheet over this one. Don't fear it. That unknown glows with possibilities. Look for the positives to come in. And you are very powerful right now to build those castles in the air and see that happening. That's what I'm seeing there. Well, I thank you all so much. I hope you have a marvelous day. Hit like if you and subscribe if you did like this video. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.